friends, welcome to Science With Me. My name is Dr. Erica. I am so excited you're here for this Tinkercad circuits tutorial. Just a shout out to check us out on YouTube and subscribe to our YouTube channel and support us at patreon.com slash Rosie Research. All right, so our last tutorial, we made this simple LED circuit and we are gonna build on that today and make a paint box LED, which is one of my favorite products to make. So we'll use a different type of LED known as a red, green, blue LED. But first, we're gonna need a new project, so hopefully you're already in Tinkercad. You can come over and click on your Tinkercad and in your circuits project, you will create a new circuit. And we will be making a color piano or a paint box LED. You can call it whatever you like, but I do like to give these guys a little bit of a good name. So like last time, we are gonna start off with a breadboard, and again, you can move that around and place it on the screen wherever you would like. We are going to charge our circuit or power our circuit with a coin cell battery, so we're gonna need that. We are going to control the voltages for our red, our green, and our blue with what's called a potentiometer. So this is a resistor that we can change the resistance of it. So instead of having to go through and manually change out resistors on our breadboard, we can use this little dial and it will change that resistance for us. And we need one for red, one for green, and one for blue. And the other thing we will be needing is a red, green, blue LED. It's got four legs, you'll notice. And if I hover on these legs, it'll tell me if it's red or the cathode or blue or green, which will help me wire it up. And it will be nice to have a switch on this project. So these are the things that we will need to make this project. So let's get started. We are gonna connect our battery like we did before. So we'll take the positive, we'll come out. You can go straight up if you'd like. I like to click there and then you can come straight over. This little bubble helps you change what your wire looks like. And we're gonna change that color up here in the top to red so that we don't get mixed up later. And we will do the same with our ground or our black wire. And we'll change that to black so that we know. All right, so this looks really nice so far. Let's plug in our LED. We'll plug it in right there. And we're going to need a switch so that we can turn it off and on. I think I'm gonna put the switch a little further down and then we'll put our potentiometers maybe over here. I'm gonna put them up just so you guys can see where the things are connected. We'll go around the backs of them, just like this. So here's our three potentiometers, just like that. I think I'm gonna move this over. Now you'll notice before I've even started wiring things up, I'm sort of changing my layout and that helps us in the future make sure we know where everything is going. All right, so let's first connect our ground and that is the cathode. The cathode is a ground. And so what we can do is we can click here and we can go straight up if we'd like to. And that is black, that's going to ground, which is great. And we are also gonna hook our terminal ones for each of these guys to ground. So these have three things. They have a terminal one, a wiper, and a terminal two. The wiper is what's going to change when we change this dial and it's what will change how much of the resistor is exposed for us. So we can connect those by actually Connecting, we can connect straight down here and then I can connect from here over, just like that, and then from here over. Because vertically, these are all attached for us. So this, all these dots that come up as they're green are all attached. So this is kind of like soldering them together, just like that. Now, if you don't like having sort of that black line right in front of the LED, you could hide it. So we could delete this. We could go right here straight up and then we can move our LED back as long as that cathode is in that right spot. And now it's not quite in right through that LED. So next we're gonna hook up our red, our green, and our blue legs. And those are gonna go into the wipers for each of these pieces right here. So I can go from the wiper and I can come out and this one can go into red, we can hook it straight like that, but that doesn't look all that pretty. So what we can do instead is we can 
see, I think we'll actually hook ours in from the backs. So I can move this out of the way. I know that this is gonna be the first pin, this will be the middle pin, and this will be the last pin. So I can go from the middle pin, and I can come up here, and I can go right into my red one. I'm not gonna color this red because I have my positive as red, but I do wanna remind myself that it is a red, so I'm gonna color that pink. I can do the same thing here. Again, this is my first wiper leg, and this, or my first terminal leg, and this will be my wiper. So I can come out and I can hook this in right here. We'll just bring this down so it looks a little nicer. This is my blue leg, so I might as well color this a blue. And then I will move this guy. Again, here's terminal one. So this one will be my wiper, and that's gonna go into green which is this last leg right here. It says green, so we will color that green for ourselves. And now we can put these back. The wires will still be connected because the pin of this potentiometer will still go right into here. And we just pull it right in there like that. It will hide it, but it will also make it a little prettier as we look at it. Just like that. Fabulous. So now we have these parts and we just need to power it up. So to do that, I'm gonna connect the middle line of my switch down into the middle of, um, or up to the battery. And I'm gonna color this red because it's still coming straight out of the battery so we can see that flow. And then this is what I'm gonna connect to all of my positive terminals over here. So I sort of have a hot or positive terminal and then a ground or a negative terminal on each of these and in the middle is that wiper. So I wanna connect all three of these last legs over here to this pin, and that will allow me to do this, finish this project. So I can come out right off the bottom, and I can connect to this one just like that. So that one's connected, and I can come up to this little bubble, which is also connected to all of those pieces. You'll notice they come up in green. And I can connect to that guy there, and I connect to this last one here. You'll notice I'm using the color scheme so that I can see where things are going and that will help me to troubleshoot. And then we can hit start simulation and nothing happens quite yet. We can turn it on and we can test our different colors. And as we change these, you get different amounts of red or green or blue because you're changing the resistance to each of those. You'll notice I can blow out my LED we could add a resistor in there if we wanted to, or we can just not go all the way up. And that's totally fine. But this is a fun little way to make a paint box. You can see all the different colors that you can make and check out how those things are working for us. Thank you so much for joining us as we made this very colorful LED project in Tinkercad circuits. And I look forward to making some more Tinkercad circuits with you guys. Have a great one. Bye friends.